Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. We like starting on time so that we can end on time. And let me introduce myself. My name is Terry Edwards, and I'm coming to you live from my office here in Kernersville, North Carolina. You may be asking, where is Kernersville, North Carolina? It's nestled in between Greensboro and Winston-Salem, North Carolina. So um, we are super excited. Whoever invited you on this call tonight just wanted to share some information with you that's helping a lot of people all across America. To be clear, we just want to share some information from you. At the end, you're going to have one or two choices. You're going to be like, yep, I like it. I need to get started. Or uh, you may know somebody else who this may be good for. But either way, we are totally cool. Now, there are three rules of the road tonight on this webinar. And it's uh, th the three rules of our company that we like to call the Alliance. Number one rule is this right here. You got to want to have some fun. You can be doing anything else on a Thursday night. So you're on this Zoom call. We might as well have a little fun with it. The second thing is we want to, you got to want to make some money, okay? Because how many people know that the light bill don't get paid on hope alone? You got to send in some coins, baby. And number three, you got to want to make a difference. It's not just about how much money can you make. It's about is the world a better place because you came through it? Did more charities get funded because of your generosity? Did your preacher be, was your preacher able to put on that additional wing onto the sanctuary because of your generosity? So um, again, my name is Terry Edwards and I've been a part of the Alliance now for uh, a little over five years, but it, we are just getting started, guys. I am hired by Jason and Olga Mathis and um, I saw this, let me give you a little background about me. Um, prior to the Alliance, I had spent uh, some time working in financial services. I was in the credit union world for about 15 years. And um, the thing about working in corporate America is this right here. I found out very early on that working a J-O-B, while it was good, it would not get me financially free. And um, I got in a cycle. I don't know about you, but I found myself in this cycle, working two weeks, paying bills, working two weeks, paying bills, kind of caught in that hamster wheel, some like to call it. And um, I did not like it. I don't know about you, but when I don't like something, I don't complain about it. I try to find something. I try to find a solution to my problem. Most people uh, get another job. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but if the first one wasn't going the way that I planned it to go, what in the world taking on an additional, what did I think that was going to do for me? But what I did, guys, was I started looking for opportunity. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between a job and an opportunity. And opportunity will allow you the ability to create generational wealth. So we started, um, and I met this guy, and he was like, Terry, if you want to be free in America, what is free? Where you got passive income coming into your life to cover your passive bills, you need to start a business. And I was like, that makes sense. He had me read this book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And I read that book and it totally revolutionized my life. The, the subtitle of the book is really what caught my attention. The subtitle is this right here what the rich teach their kids about money that the poor and the middle class do not. And it started revolutionizing my thought process. So I was like, oh my gosh, I got to go out and start me a business. So I was working in the credit unions during the day, managing credit unions. My wife was a social worker. And then at night and on weekends, we would be side hustling, baby. So we started a janitorial business. We actually bought a franchise. Some people are like, Terry, why did you buy a franchise? Anybody can own a janitorial business. Anybody can do it without any training. But if you wanted to do it big and scalable, you needed to be a part of a bigger system, okay? And that's what, it's sort of like McDonald's. How many people will agree that McDonald's don't make the best burgers? Sometimes we even have to wonder, is it a burger? 
But what we do know is that they have a proven system where literally 16-year-olds, and I was one of them when I was in high school, can literally run a multi-billion dollar company. How is it? Because you go in one McDonald's, you've been in them all. Fries on the left, shakes on the right. And they have a proven system. And that's the system that we have here at the Alliance that I will be sharing with you today. So we started the janitorial business. Things were going great. But the problem with that business, as with most traditional businesses, you don't own the business. The business owns you. What I mean by that is... If you're not actively out there making things happen, your employees aren't going to do it for you. So it, you will still tie it down to the business. And then I met this other guy. He was 30 years old. And he told me he was making $30,000 a month, Sebastian. I was like, $30,000 a month? I was like, man, what are you doing? And he introduced me to this network marketing company. I don't know about y'all. But I believe what Michael Jordan says. And Michael Jordan says, you, you're you guaranteed to miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So I was taking shots trying to get free. Got into that business. We made some money, but we could never create enough income where it would take me off of my job. But keep in mind, I was still working during the day, side hustling, trying different things to get free. And then back in February 2015, I got what I thought was my dream job. I was named CEO of a credit union, and I moved from North Carolina down to Georgia to take over this credit union. I sold all my side hustles because this was my dream job. Long story short, me, my wife, Tia, and our three little ones, we packed up, we moved down there, and Tia was seven months pregnant with number four. So we get down there, very excited, put pictures on the wall at the new house and everything. Long story short, guys, they rescinded the job offer after I had moved down there. And I'm not saying that to... Um, for a pity party, we're doing okay, all right? You can tell I'm a pretty big guy, I haven't missed many meals. But what I'm telling you that story for is because you can wake up in the morning and everything is going as planned, but by the time you lay your head down that night, your world could be flipped upside down. So everything could be going well for you right now, but it's not going well for a lot of people in America. The COVID-19 has actually made a lot of us rethink everything about our lives. Literally, we're thinking about our jobs. How stable are those jobs that we thought about? What about our own mortality? We're thinking about, about our lives in a different perspective now. So as I go through this information tonight, if it's not for you, Think about who it may be for and pass that information along. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to answer five questions on tonight. What is the alliance? What is the opportunity? How do you do it? How do you make money? And then I'm going to introduce you to a couple of my friends who are going out week in and week out helping protect families. Okay. Now, what is the alliance? Somebody say, explain it. That's right. That's the have fun part, guys. At the Alliance, what we do, guys, is we help protect families with life insurance, annuities, financial products such as Medicare supplement plans, Med Advantage plans. We help people get out of debt. We help people solve everyday problems. And, and basically, what we have done is the Alliance, Andy Albright created this company over 20 years ago in the basement of his home. And today we are a nationwide company. We have agents from the East Coast to the West Coast, from the North to the South of the border and all points in between. And what Andy has done is this right here. He has put in place partnerships with over 20 different life insurance companies, okay? Now, I know when I say the word life insurance, a lot of people cringe like me. 
like I did when I first heard it. But this is what I know. Life insurance is a sustainable business that has weathered the Great Depression, the Great Recession. And during COVID-19, our business is up over 40 percent. So if you're looking for something that's long lasting, that's time tested, this insurance um, industry is where you want to be. But let me tell you this right here. At the Alliance, it's not the traditional boring life insurance. We like to say, this ain't this ain't your granddaddy's insurance company. We like to have fun. We like to make money. And God knows we love to travel the world. So we work with these big multi-billion dollar insurance companies like Mutual of Omaha and Transamerica. These are companies that's been out for a long, around for a long, long time. And they pay us to go out and help families. You see, this is the dilemma. The insurance companies, they are very good at creating products and services. But if you ever get around them, they talk a language that most of us just don't quite get it. Like life insurance agents can kind of be a little, a little awkward, okay? But at the Alliance, we have found a way to make this fun and relatable to everybody. So at the Alliance, we have leads. You do not have to go out and harass family and friends. Now, should you help protect your family and friends? Absolutely. But guess what? We have families who are reaching out to us requesting our help. So at the Alliance, we play matchmaker between these big multi-billion dollar insurance companies and we have people that's wanting what they have, and they pay us a great income to do that. So if you're watching this webinar tonight, and you're just looking for a way to create an additional $500, $1,000 a month, we can help you do that. If you're watching this tonight, and you've been downsized, right size, or furloughed, and you have to replace a substantial income like I did back in 2015, you are in the right place. And also, if you are at a point in life where where you're not just thinking about today, you're thinking about your children's children. You're talking, thinking about creating a legacy for your family. You want to get whole nasty rich. You can do that here too. So it matters not where you fall on the spectrum. Our job here at the Alliance is to surround you with the resources and the support to help you get what you came for. So, so that's what we do. We help families with life insurance and then we train hire other people and teach them how to do the same thing. And that's where you can build a massive override income. So for the first time, guys, you may not only be in the right place, you may not only be at, here at the right time, but most importantly, you're here with the right people. So let's go on to number two. What is the opportunity? I'm gonna try to tell you about it. The opportunity is massive, y'all. We Googled it. And you know, anytime you Google something, it's bona fide, certified, you could take it to the bank, okay? We Googled it. 100% of the people living need our product. What do you mean, Terry? 100% of the people are gonna die. You cannot debate that, okay? You might could debate the afterlife, but you cannot debate the fact that at some point, everybody's got to go. Everybody got to go. But we don't try to market to everybody. What we try to do is market to people who are more likely to buy and they're having public record life events, such as purchasing or refinancing a home, turning 50, 60, 65 years old, or uh, just had a baby or just got married. These are points in people's lives that they're assuming more responsibility. So they're thinking that they may need additional protection, okay? So what we do is we, 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 we got two main products that we like to get in with. That's mortgage protection and final expense. So we send out about a million letters a week to people who purchase or refinance a home. And we send out letters to seniors for final expense coverage. In North Carolina, we like, we like to call that burial insurance, okay? Burial insurance. So that, that's what we do. And those baby boomers outside of barrel insurance, Medicare, oh my gosh, it's such a tremendous opportunity. But the baby boomers, they are turning 65 at a rate of 10,000 a day, y'all. 
And baby boomers are finding themselves in two scenarios. The first scenario is like my mama. My mama worked very hard in Northeastern North Carolina in a chicken plant called Purdue. Then when she decided to come out of work due to health reasons, that group insurance that she had at work no longer applied because she's no longer part of the group. So she just wanted to make sure that she have a plan in place to cover all her final expenses so that she don't leave me and my brother in debt. So that's what we do with, with, with those people. We help them with final expense. Now, the other group of baby boomers, life was good and life was kind to them. They were able to save up some money in a 401k, you know, and things of that nature. And now they are retiring and they're asking themselves, number one, have I saved up enough money that's going to last until I pass away? With the food cost and medical um, cost rising, have I saved enough money? And number two, how do I pass these assets on to my children without leaving them a big tax bill or a burden? So we help those clients with annuities. And this is the thing, guys. There are over $23 trillion that the baby boomers have amassed. And yet to this day, I've never seen a money truck following a hearse to the graveyard. What I'm saying is they can't take that money with them. So what we're about to witness, guys, is the largest wealth transfer known to the financial markets. So you don't even have to be good to be successful here. The only thing you got to do is have some want to, and we can show you what to do to be successful. Okay, so like I said earlier, we represent over 20 different life insurance companies. I'm not gonna talk about all of them, but I'm gonna tell you this, all of them are A-rated. That means they got good credit. They the ones who pay you, okay? They the ones who got all the reserves, the legal reserves, okay? So they are A-rated. And also they know our leadership on a first name basis. We have top notch relationships with the exec executives within these companies. So if I have an issue going on with Forrester's Financial, I just pick up my celly phone and I call Bruce Barack and say, hey, Bruce, look at here. Got a little situation here. Can you help a brother out? And Bruce be like, well, tell me what you got. And then before long, we got a resolution, okay? Same thing, Mutual of Omaha. I just pick up the phone, call my buddy Brent, Brent, Brent Bench. Um, make sure y'all know I'm not cussing up here. Brent Bench. Woo, that's a tongue, tongue, tongue twister right there. But this is the thing, guys. They are all A-rated and they know our leadership on a first name basis. And we invite you to come out to our convention so that you can meet these carriers. Number three, how do you do it? I told you that we got a system just like McDonald's. Let me explain to you part of our system, guys. The first part of our system, and this is what I like about a system, it's not a respecter of person. It don't matter if you got a GED, if you got a master's degree, or if you got a player hater degree, it don't matter. A system is if you do the system, you get the results. And that's one of the things I love about the Alliance. We have a system here. Let me explain to you a couple of pieces of our system. Any team, which we are, that wants to win a national championship, want to be legendary like the New England Patriots, ain't a Patriots fan, but you can't deny that New England has not built a dynasty, okay? They have a playbook. All of the players on the team know what they're supposed to be doing. So whoever invited you on this call, make sure you get back with them and have them send you an electronic copy of our new agent guide, which will include all the information that I'm going over tonight. So in this playbook, we talk about why we exist. We exist so people can get a piece of the pie, baby. Andy was thinking about not sweet um, Patty LaBelle sweet potato pies, but he was thinking about the P stands for prosperity, the I stands for inspiration, and the E stands for eternity. Pros you know, prosperity. We understand that you got to take care of your family, but what's next after that? We have to be working for something bigger than just money. What about inspiration? We travel the world. These insurance companies, they got money, honey. They send us all over the world on world-class trips. Like we're getting ready to go on a trip right now to 
Phuket and Chiang Mai, Thailand. Next year, we'll have a trip that you and I both can qualify. We're going on an Alaskan cruise out of Seattle. All expense paid for you and a guest. And then that E is for eternity. Again, at the end, we want to hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant, okay? We got our core values. One of the core values that I love the most is community and gratitude. What is a community? We are stronger together than we are apart. See, what the world wants us to do is to continue to fight and bicker on how we are different, how our political views are different. But we don't do that up in the alliance. We talk about the things that we have in common within our community. That is fighting this war against poverty. That is how can you and I be better people, better business people, okay? And then gratitude. I wake up every morning with a spirit of gratitude. Just thankful to be alive and that I got a shot to be better today than I was on yesterday. So this is our playbook. We also want you to read. We got a couple of books here. The first book, this book right here is called The Eight Steps to Success. This is Andy Albright. Now, on tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, Andy Albright will be doing a call teaching and training everybody. So if you want to meet him, it will be a Zoom. Again, get back with the person so that they can get you the link. The meeting will be at 10 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow morning, Friday morning. But the eight steps to success. Okay, guys, this book right here is a principles driven book. We say this, if you follow these eight steps consistently, see, consistent means job-like mentality. Job like when I didn't want to go to the credit union, I went anyway. Some days you don't want to go to your job, but you go anyway. Now, when you are independent and you're in business for yourself, you now have to be a good boss of you. So if you follow these eight steps religiously, consistently, you will make a $100,000 income with us. And it's not stuff that's very, very difficult. It's stuff like personal use. You cannot be in the insurance industry and not own no life insurance. Come on, somebody. It's almost like you working at the Mercedes dealership driving a Chevrolet. That just don't make no sense. Work. This turn a lot of people off right here. Work. This is not get rich quick. I don't know about you, but when I walked in that meeting, the first time I heard this information, I was not looking for get rich quick. I was looking for feed my family today and get rich possible. Okay, so work, you do have to work. We got leads, but they don't dial themselves. Okay, so if you follow these eight steps, you're going to make a six figure income. So, this will be the first book that I recommend you read. It's an easy read, big font, a lot of pictures. It, you can get through it pretty quickly. The next book is more of a manual. This is what we call our green book. This is where Andy Albright put the secrets of his success of how he created a $83,000 a month plus income doing the alliance. And we have success story after success story of people who are following this system that's having success. Now, this book is more like a manual. It's meant to be referred back to often, okay? Not a lot of pictures, smaller font, okay? But you make $83,000 a month. The, the information is here. It's up to you to execute it. I was talking to a guy the other day. He said, you know, knowledge is power. I said, well, I, I heard that before. But I've also heard that knowledge is not power. It's the application of knowledge that produces the power. And then we got this book right here. Uh-oh, I just dropped the nugget right there. We got this other book here called Inside the Circle of You. And what this book talks about, this is one of my favorites right here. It talks about only focusing on the things that you can control. You can't control Donald Trump. You can't control Joe Biden. What you can control is your attitude and your activities. So let's focus on that. And I bet you, 
the world to be a better place. And then we also got a book on all of our core values explained. So um, those are just a couple of resources there. We also have an online university. If you're like me and had never did anything like this before, you're gonna need some training. And I talk to people all the time. They'd be like, y'all got training? I'd be like, you got some learning? Because we got the training, baby. So we have an online university. And it's not like a college course where you got to go every day for three days. I mean, every week, three days a week or at night and stuff like that. These are little 30-minute courses. What we do is we got Gina Hawks, our product specialist. She got a little 30-minute video on Mutual of Omaha Term products. We got a 30-minute video on Forrester's products. We got a 30-minute video of our top leaders doing the do. And only thing you have to do is watch it and copy. We like to call it case the joint. Copy and steal everything, Okay. Now, I mentioned we got leads, and these are what the leads look like. They just come in an envelope right here. No return dressed envelope. It ain't no, no, uh, no tricks, no gimmicks. Like, fill this out to win a coffee maker. You know, it talks about death, disability, critical illness. And what we do is we mail out over a million of these a week, and people fill them out, y'all. They give us their height, their weight, their sex, if they smoke or not, and a couple of phone numbers to call them back on. Well, my ladies at, ladies, let me ask you a question. When is the last time you put your height and weight on a form and mailed it back to a P.O. box? It just don't happen if you're not interested. So people are filling these forms out. What I'm trying to say is there's a conversation that's been had about these forms, y'all. Only thing you got to do is find out when they're going to be at the house. Oh, do you still go to the house? Absolutely. I put on my hand, I put on my mask, I social distance and everything and go out there and help protect these families, y'all. So that's all you got to do is go over there and check them out. The last part of our system, well, the next last, um, it don't matter if you never did this before. We got a little book when you get sit down with somebody and you just go through the material in this book and it's going to walk you right through the sales process and the way to collect the information from the client. And then you basically just pick up the check. And then we have a compensation system. I don't know about y'all, but I got so frustrated when I was looking for a job, y'all. You go to one job interview, you're overqualified. You go to another job interview, you're underqualified. I went to one job interview. I told the man this right here. I said, look here, buddy. You trying to get paid. You trying to hire somebody. I'm trying to get hired. You tell me what you want on my resume. I got my typewriter in the car. I can add to it. I can take away from it. Okay. Let's, let's not play this cat and mouse game. So we have a, a promotion grid. Well, if we like to say this is a whosoever doeth business, when you do it the work, you get at the promotion. We have um, we go from fifty five percent contract all the way up to one hundred and forty percent contract, and um, get back with the person and they'll go more in detail. But I'm gonna talk to you about how the money works um, right here. So, how do you make money? I know this is what you've been waiting for. So I'm gonna go ahead and break it down as best as I know how. This is how you make the money. You call the client. You go over there. You sit down and talk with them. The average client is going to spend about $100 a month to protect their family. When you send the insurance company their money, the client's $100, they normally send you back a direct deposit for five times whatever you sent them. So if the premium is five, $100 a month, you're going to make about five to $600. If the premium is a little lower, you're going to make a little less. If they're a little older and the premium is more, you're going to make a little more. But on average, about $500, okay? And I was when I first heard that, I was like, wait, 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 wait. All these other programs that I was a part of, in order for you to make money, you had to buy inventory and then sell it. So you telling me I don't have to buy the inventory, I don't have to they give me the applications, and I'm sending them the client's money, and then I get paid. I was like, "Ooh, somebody about to get rich!" I saw the first time where I can make a hundred grand without recruiting and selling. Now I love to recruit and sell. Let me tell you, I love to recruit because I feel like, what good is it for me to be doing good, 
and not offer the opportunity to my friends. So when I found out that you could hire other agents and help them get started, and when they go out and help a family, you make a percentage of what they do too, and it don't take no money out of their pocket, I got fired up out of my mind and I started calling everybody. I called Lottie, Dottie, and everybody on my in my cell phone and let them know what I was doing and how I could help them. And we have been building this thing all across the nation. Now, the last question is this right here. Who else is doing? I want to introduce you guys to a couple of my friends that I have met. Um, and we are going out and slaying giants week in and week out, protecting families, and we love it. So I want to go out, first of all, to uh, my buddy Sebastian Chambers out in Lawton, Oklahoma. Um, I hired a lady named Rose Poole down in St. John's, Florida, who introduced me to Sebastian and his wife, LaQuinta. And um, you ever met somebody the first time you talked to them, you'd be like, that's a genuine dude right there. I can, I, I, he people like me, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I fell in love with the dude overnight. Um, so I, I want uh, Sebastian to unmute himself, unmute yourself, Sebastian. Let everybody know who you are, uh, kind of um, your education background or your, your background just a little bit, uh, what you used to do prior to the Alliance and kind of what's going on in your business right now. Uh, my name is Sebastian Chambers, and uh, I just want to thank you, Terry, for allowing me to come on and just share uh, my experience with the Alliance. But um, like Terry said, my background is uh, I have a, a bachelor's in business, and uh, I have been involved in several opportunities in the past. Uh, just like Terry, I always could have some, you know, what they call semblance or resemblance of some type of success, but it was always, you know, little but it was always more than what everybody else was doing. And so over the course of a few years, I, I tried them all. You know, I sold every pill, powder, potion, and lotion. You understand what I'm saying? I feel you, boss. <laughs> so uh, I, I did it all, man. I sold them cards. I sold everything. Anyway, uh, just going through, you know, my wife and I, we've been married 26 years, and we've tried it. I mean, I didn't raise my kids, and they in college about to be grown and all that stuff, and we just never could get there. We got to the point where my wife just got burned out. She was done, didn't want to hear nothing about nothing. She said, I'm done. And then uh, one day we met Terry. And uh, I'm going to tell you something, Terry, when me and my wife, when we met you and we were sitting there talking on the phone, we hung up, we was like, I like this dude. He's real. <laughs> and, you know, because we had never met anybody like yourself. But, man, once we once we just got a chance to see what was going on, we just kind of locked arms and said, hey, Terry, what you want us to do? And Terry said, I want you to do this. I want you to do this. Next thing you know, we started making money. Uh, our first month, we made a couple thousand dollars. Our next month, we made uh, over six thousand dollars. I mean, since we've been in, uh, we've done well. You know, we've averaged about close to four grand a month just sharing the opportunity with people working the league system and uh, just working on growing a small team. Uh, right now, we're on course right now. By next year, this time, we'll have our own agency. And so we are very excited about the opportunity and we just love, love, love the culture, you know, the people. We've connected so well. I mean, every time we get around the people, it's just amazing. Just the just what we've done so far in the business, we had an opportunity to visit the headquarters in North Carolina. And we walked in, our picture and was all over the, the building. <laughs> My wife and I, it was amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you right now, when I say I'm all in, man, I'm sold out the whole route like a scout. I'm not going nowhere. I got no doubt. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just thankful for the opportunity, man. And uh, Tara, just thanks for letting me share it. But I'm just saying, whoever invited you on this tonight, you need to get in immediately. You need to say, hey, I think I can make that thing work. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not the smartest or the sharpest. How you say I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but at least I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> Hey, man, I'm excited about it. Thanks, Terry, for letting me share. All right, appreciate you, buddy. And keep in mind, guys, Sebastian and his wife, LaQuinta, they both still have full-time jobs. They're doing this on the side. But come January, I'm believing that they're going to be job optional. What that means is they're going to have an option. If they want to go 
or if they want to come over here and play in the sandbox all the time. Are so you, let's go there, out to my next friend here uh, in Yakinville, North Carolina. Some people be like, you got to be in one of them big cities to build this thing real big, don't you? Mm-mm. Girl, Hamptonville got more cows than people. So <laughs> let me introduce you to my friend, Beth Ireland. Me and Beth knew each other prior to the Alliance. We was in one of them other network marketing companies together. We were kind of like cousins in that company. Beth used to come over to my house and we used to meet up at training classes and things of that nature. And um, when I shared with Beth what we had going on, she got really excited. And so um, Beth Ireland, we are so appreciative. Uh, T and I are so appreciative and proud of what you have done and how you have trusted this process with your life. Um, and we really do appreciate you, Beth. So Beth, unmute yourself, girl. You got your lipstick on. Unmute yourself, let everybody know who you are, um, kind of a little bit about your background and what you have accomplished since being here. But more importantly, tell them where you're going, girl. Hey, Terry. Thanks for having me on the call. Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, inviting me to speak tonight. And thanks to Andy and Jane Albright for, um, you know, this wonderful company that we have called The Alliance. And yeah, I got my lipstick on. I always have my lipstick on. Uh, so yeah, I met Terry and Tia uh, in another ne network marketing company years ago. And um, then our paths crossed again. And and they would gotten in the insurance business and I had an insurance license and I was like, what, what? Tell me, tell me how to do it. So they did. And I listened and same, same story you just heard tonight, how to do it, the opportunity, the leads, the system. And um, it's been an incredible ride so far and we're only looking forward to get better and better. Um, so yeah, before this, I was doing some, um, some payroll specialist work, which was in a cubicle, uh, doing data entry for about eight and a half hours a day every day. And I was about to lose my ever loving mind, but um, got laid off from that job. And um, thank God I did because uh, it led me to the Alliance. So um, I, I just, I said, show me how to do this. And Terry and T are all wonderful, awesome mentors. And they have uh, helped me to become um, eligible to win trips. We've been all around the world together. Gosh, we've been to Hawaii. We've been to um, Paris and we're, we're going to go to Alaska and Thailand. And I love the trips. I love the, um, the um, association that's involved with the trips because, you know, the cream of the crop goes on the trips and you get to sit with the, the best of the best and learn from the best and, and eat and, and, and dine with the best. And, it's just fun. It's fun. We have fun. We make money. Um, we make a difference. Yeah, and I, I love my clients. Um, I love that we've added Medicare supplement and I love that we uh, can help people in more um, venues. So I'm only looking forward to the bed, the best getting better. And I can't, can't tell you how excited I am about the future for the Alliance and um, anything else you want me to say, Terry? I think you did good. All right. Thanks. Tell them cows out there, I said, what's up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Beth's backyard is a pasture with about, how many cows you got back there, Beth? Um, behind me, probably about 50. About 50 black yeah. Angus cattle. That's right. I yeah. love it. Thank you so much, Beth. Now we're going to my girl, Mia Fennell, out in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, Mia came into this business like a dead gum tornado. She was hungry, y'all, and she grabbed this thing by the horns and just took off like a rocket ship. Um, she has, um, I'm not going to steal all her thunder, but she has an office out in Charlotte, North Carolina. She has staff, and um, she is doing an amazing job inspiring people all across the world that, you know what, they can live their best life now. So Mia Fennell, if you don't mind, same thing, girl, and um, put a little Mia sauce at the end for me. <laughs> Mia sauce, you're so funny. Hey, Terry, you looking real official over there. Golly, new I'm studio. A I'm a try. <laughs> That studio looks good. Um, well, hey, everybody. My name is Mia Fennell, like Terry said. Terry, thank you so much for even asking me to be on this call. I know that you could have picked anybody, but you still keep picking little old me. And I'm so glad that you chose to pick little old me. In 2018, when I was laid off from my job, I was working at Bank of America. 
and I was looking for a way out. So um, I'm much like uh, Terry and Sebastian. I come from corporate America. I have a bachelor's degree in um, supply chain management. So for the whole part of my career, um, it was about eight years. I worked in a lot of different things like procurement. I was managing. I was worked in pretty much everything in supply chain I did. And what I kind of found myself in was a place where I felt like I was given pretty everything that I had to this career that really just wasn't me. I knew that um, from the time I was really small, I knew that I always wanted to be somebody's boss. <laughs> Tell people what to do. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do when I was three years old. I wanted to wear a suit every day and boss people around. I'm not a bossy person, but you can imagine as a three-year-old, that's what I wanted. Um, and, you know, so I grew up, I grew up knowing that there was um, possibilities out there for me to do whatever I wanted to do, but I needed a vehicle. So when I was in college, um, the way that I met Terry and Tia is because I actually had joined that same network marketing company that he was a part of and Beth and, you know, that company had us dreaming. We started dreaming about things that, you know, most people say, oh, that's, that's not achievable. And, you know, through that company, we didn't necessarily get to experience the dreams that we had in that company, but it helped bring those dreams off the shelf. And I'm so glad that we were introduced to those things early on, because when I came to the Alliance, I was heartbroken because I had just gotten out of a really bad relationship. I was also let go from my job in the same week. And I was just like, what else is there I can do so I can stop feeling like I'm giving everything I have and not getting anything back? So um, I started working. Somebody called me up. I remember the day I got the phone call, said, hey, Mia, I don't know what you're doing right now, but talking to Terry and Tia, they are doing something you might be interested in. And they said, it's insurance. And I'm like, well, I don't care what it is. I didn't care if it was selling books door to door. I didn't care if it was selling cars and broke down on the side of the street. I didn't care. All I knew was Terry and Tia, the same people that I trusted and got to know so well in the previous company, they were doing something in the Alliance and I wanted to be a part of their team. So I ended up getting started. Um, and it just, it, it started taking off. I mean, my first year, um, you know, my first month, I didn't, I didn't know anything about insurance, but I knew that there were several people in my family that didn't have insurance policies. So I think I made like $2,300 my first month. And then by my second month, I was matching what I used to make at Bank of America. And I thought that was odd because I'm like, what, you know, people, I, I work 80 hours a week, uh, every two weeks to be able to make this check for like $3,600 a month. And I come here and I sit with a couple of families and I did that in a couple of hours. That was weird to me, but I was excited. Mm -hmm. um, by my third month, I had started doubling my income and then it got really crazy. Terry started talking to me about growing a team and building an agency and having an office and hiring staff and all the things that I had wanted to do when I was even as a little kid. And I'm so happy and grateful that those dreams started coming true here. So um, since being with the company, I've earned several trips, two trips to Toronto, been to Paris, um, earned Alaska, going to Thailand, going on the extension to Thailand. I win every single trip and every extension in this company possible. I will do that. But also now I'm, I'm employing other people and helping them make income. I make anywhere between like 10 to uh, 15 to 20 thousand dollars a month at 31. I'm single. I don't have any kids, but I have a dream. And I'm grateful for you, Terry and Tia, for as much as I as crazy as I can be. Sometimes y'all take crazy people like me. You nurture us and you show us how to build businesses. So thank you so much, Terry, for having me on. Guys, get back with the person who showed you this because this thing will change your life. And I'm so serious when I say that. That's right. So we're on the home stretch here, guys. We um, appreciate your time. But listen, what would let, let me ask you a couple of questions before we get off of here. What would it be like if you could make decisions and time and money were not an object? What would it be like? What would it be like to know that when you leave, that your children's children financial legacy has already been secured? What would it be like to know that you got income coming in and that your child could choose to go to the university that they want to go, not that they can afford to go? 
what would it be like to know that the work you're doing is not only for a a earthly purpose, but for an uh, eternal purpose? What would it feel like to go all in? Listen, guys, it has been a joy to share this information. I am so grateful to Andy and Jane Albright for creating this opportunity that we get to call the Alliance that anybody, I don't care what side of the railroad track you was born on, or if you went to the right school or not, if you come here and you do, you can have massive success. And I'm so grateful for that. So if you're watching this tonight and you are wondering, you know, if it feels like that I can do this, but I just don't believe that I can do it. Let me say this right here. You have permission to borrow my faith to borrow Andy Albright's faith, to borrow this team's faith until you can believe in yourself because we believe in you. You are a powerful and loving person and success got, got your name written all over it. So get back with the person that invited you on this Zoom tonight. Let them know that you're ready to get started or you know somebody that this may be perfect for. Let's get going. Let's get you in class, get your insurance license. If you're already licensed, we're calling your number, get in the game, come help us win this war on poverty. Listen guys, I'm signing off. My name is Terry Edwards and I did approve this message. I'll see you guys at our next big event or come listen to Andy Albright tomorrow morning 10 a.m. Eastern time. Love you guys. Good night.